Come by to see Ma. I'll wait for you and Eileen to leave. No, we're just sitting down. Colin, Mary, Kate, Jimmy, they aren't even here yet. You look terrible. Been up too many hours. Tell Mark Collins not coming. Did something happen? No, he's fine. Just a little bruise. He's, he's fine. He's 100% fine. He's going to be fine. I think he's fucking cat. Seriously? Yeah. I don't... I don't know. Colin wouldn't do that. Yeah, no. But I don't. Why don't you come and have dinner, Michael? Oh, I'd make Ma happy to see us both at the same table. Don't tell her what I said about Colin. Michael. No, oh, there's mashed potatoes waiting. Oh, you like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. You sit on your fucking skinny ass all day. My mother worked every day of her life, but her fucking house was neat as a pit. Your mommy is a fucking anal retentive shrew who couldn't hold on to a man. What did you say? You heard me. My mother is a fucking saint compared to you. Then go worship her. Hey, Ma. Cat finally throw you out, huh? No, of course not. I uh, just need a good night's sleep. All right. I'm, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm crashing out. Not upstairs. You're not. That's Colin's room now. It's okay. I'll sleep on the couch. <laughs> you do no such thing. Michael can sleep on the couch. Sheets for the couch are in the lower shelf of the linen closet. the classes law in Colorado. You can use whichever bathroom you want based on the sex you think you should have been born. What the hell does that mean? It means some fruitcake wants to be abroad, but he can't afford the operation. He can go to the girls' room. I want his ass in the women's bathroom, so that's a good law. Yeah. You all right there, boss? You got a crick in my neck. What if I want to use the women's room? You can't. What happened with the sex you're born? The cops going to tell that by looking at me? Hey, how many? Give me two. You remember you're supposed to meet Nizoli in a half an hour? Don't need you to be my calendar. Well, we better get going because radio says 195's backed up. Finish your game. Freddy's driving me today. Freddy, let's go. It's, uh... Playing cards.
What's with all this new age bullshit? I mean, they're fucking robins, you know? They're not flying to my yard from the lost continent of Atlantis. Why you buy one of those? Put a St. Francis statue next to it. They'll cancel each other out. <laughs> you got him well trained. So what am I doing here? What do you want? My guys aren't getting any construction contracts on the waterfront. The word is that your brother's on some kind of moral high horse about keeping the waterfront squeaky clean. What's that got to do with me? Don't even fucking waste my time with your bullshit, okay? Do you really expect me to believe that your brother's not giving out jobs to you and your Mick cronies? You can believe whatever you want. Except in what you gave me, I got no part of the waterfront action. I know calling you a liar at this point would probably be counterproductive. So instead, I'm gonna politely ask you to tell your brother that he needs to open up the tap so people beside you can wet their beaks. My beak is bone fucking dry. My brother's got nothing to do with me, and I got nothing to do with him. You're not gonna deliver on this for me? It's not that I won't, but I can't. Hey. You. You got any bird bass for birds that don't look like they need their fucking fortunes told? Regular shit. This? You know, what you did turning down Azoli was a mistake. The hell with Azoli. Man doesn't want to believe the truth when he hears it. I can't help him. What you could have do was shine them on. Said you'd make an effort. Wait, I should quiver in my boots as well? Maybe piss my pants? Fuck it. <clears throat> Look, I know the guy's mind works. He's a prick. Bow and scrape just a little bit. He doesn't take it so personal when you tell him no. Look. <clears throat> I get his ball in the hole and the volcano goes off, I get a free game. Ordering chicken, must order ordering steak and lobster at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On this fixed price menu bullshit, or two appetizers. Thank you. Ma, pick yourself out a nice bottle of wine. We don't need a whole bottle. They don't do the nice stuff by the glass. Come on. It's mm. <laughs> very fancy, Michael. Well, you know, it's not every day a man gets to take out the two most beautiful women of his life and spoil it, Ron. Here, here. <laughs> Anything you like there? Not at these prices. We get. Please, don't worry about the prices, okay? As far as you're concerned, the prices don't exist. Marty. <clears throat> See that nice family over there? Oh, yes. Send them over a bottle of champagne. Tell them it's from me. We have a very nice Verve Clicquot. No, the house is good. <laughs> right away. Yeah, yeah. It ain't like that fucking family, right? Excuse me. <laughs> this is a gift from the gentleman in the corner. Is that, um, someone you work with? No, it's a friend. Just paying his respects. Domestic. Well, it was nice anyway, huh? <laughs> Sees them with my family, you know. Cheapest one on the list. Let me see that. Thirty-two fifty. Maybe they only had domestic. Doesn't look like he's drinking domestic. That's good. Oh. Domestic champagne gives me a headache. There you are, ma'am. None for me. And you, sir? Thank you. And you, ma'am? Thank you. Huh? 
know how much money I made for that prick? A and he sends my family the cheapest bottle of fucking champagne on the menu. Better have sent nothing. Yeah, cause it's not only cheap, it's bad. I drank some of that stuff on New Year's, it's like drinking carbonated piss. Maybe Nazoli doesn't know champagne, it's French. What would he know from France? When you find out where his mother lives, send her a bottle of Asti Spumati. <laughs> What's his mother done to anybody? No, 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 no. How about this? I sent him a bottle of... No, I sent him a fucking case of that champagne that the rappers drink, the, the $400 a bottle shit, with a big bow on top. I'm teaching some fucking manners. What? Here, Colin, delivery boy. Get a case of that shit over Nazoli, fast you can. Me? No fucking way. Pop me on principle. Yeah, make sure I get there before cocktail hours. And get yourself somewhere else to sleep tonight. I'm not sleeping on that fucking couch again. Like the good old days, Ma, huh? Except in the good old days, I can remember what was in the cupboards. Yeah, well, Colin reorganized them. I don't understand, Michael. Why isn't he coming home for his dinner? I mean, where's he going to sleep tonight? Don't worry about him. You know, he's got stuff to do. He's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Yeah, well, don't you think that you can throw him out just because you decide you want your bed back? No, that's... Look, this was his idea, all right? He, uh... He thought maybe we should spend some quality time together. I just fucking rememorized all this. Watch your language, mister. Sorry, sorry. What are you looking for? Just look at this servant plate. So I stopped by Hennessy's on the way home. Fresh baked croissants. It's still warm. I can't. They give me heartburn this late in the day. Well, we'll stick them in the fridge. We'll have them for breakfast. Don't bother. I'm washing my girlish figure. Just make the tea, would you? Yeah. The tea, Michael, is in the pantry. Honestly, you're no use to me at all. I might as well do everything myself. Now, if Colin were here, I could relax. Lemonberry breeze. What well, happened to good old Lipton's Irish breakfast? Here, open this, would you? Lid's too tight. Well, it's not tight, ma. You okay? You got something wrong with your hair? Just give me a damn biscotti. Give me a biscotti, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> 